What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode on the Hermitcraft server, Season 9. Oh yeah, guys. So, here I am, just sitting here at my, my table, mm -hmm. eating or something. It's fine. Yep. Uh, I found out I can actually be on the stair, <laughs> or a chair, I guess, and be underneath the, the lantern here, and it just makes me crouch like I'm actually sitting on the chair. Yeah. If I back up a little bit, uh, I'm no longer crouched anymore. Uh, but I thought that was kind of interesting. I don't know, just kind of playing around with it and notice, hey, look at that. We are now crouched. <laughs> anyway, uh, so today I want to get some things done. And one of those things that I would like to do is try to start working on getting enchanted tools and armor, right? More importantly, I would like to have Silk Touch and Fortune. Uh, Silk Touch is very important, especially since we're using a lot of stone, so we don't have to constantly smell things up. And so we can carry massive amounts of raw ores on us. And then, of course, fortune, so we can get those sweet, sweet diamonds, right? So that's things that I would like to do. Um, so right now, we have a grand total, if I remember correctly, of 16 diamonds. It's not a lot. Not a lot at all. In fact, I'm going to need some wood here if we're going to do some things. Uh, so we have 16 diamonds to our name. Those are all the diamonds that we have collected uh, well, I guess we did collect 17, but we spent one diamond last episode buying some wool, I believe, from beef. Uh, so here we go. We are going to make some sticks and make our first diamond pickaxes. One soak touch. Well, one's going to be soak touch and one's going to be fortune, right? So there we go. Now, I don't have enchants and I don't really have levels. So we have a couple of things that we're going to have to figure out here, but we made our diamond picks. Um, I do believe Impulse has a shop where he is selling all the different enchanted books for two diamonds each. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to spend two diamonds for mending. We're going to spend two diamonds for unbreaking. And then we have two diamonds left over. So I'm going to get myself Silk Touch. No, Fortune. Do I want Silk Touch or Fortune? Oh boy. Maybe we should hold off on the unbreaking <laughs> on both of these. Uh, maybe we should get, uh, yeah, we're gonna have to figure this out. Okay. Well, first things first, I don't even know where his shop's located. So I need to, I need to go around the server and figure out where that is. Uh, it is nighttime. So we're gonna have to sleep till day. So we don't get creepered. Mm-hmm. Let's go explore. All right. So I'm exploring the Hermitcraft spawn village a little bit here. And my goodness, I am <laughs> just completely blown away by how much stuff has been built on this side that I haven't even seen yet. We can kind of see this uh, copper wall from my house, but like all the way over here is where the I Enchant building is. And inside this building is where we can buy books or apparently we can order different things to be built for us. I think uh, Impulse is around here somewhere. I heard somebody just walking. Uh, anyway, it says all books, two diamonds each. Grand opening sale. Buy four books, get one free. So that's exactly what we want. So I'm going to go ahead and just pick out all the books that I want. All right, I think that's the last one. So here is what we're going to do. Uh, let's move these over just a little bit. Like show. So our Silk Touch one, we're going to put Mending, and we're going to put Efficiency 5 on. And then our uh, Fortune... Pick. We're just going to put mending and fortune on. We're not going to be doing a whole lot of mining with this, only breaking apart blocks, right? So what we need to do <laughs> is hope that we don't run out of durability before we find more diamonds and uh, we go mend and all that kind of stuff. But yes, uh, I just spent all of the diamonds that I have. We have no more diamonds to our name. Okay, well, we need to take these back to our base and... Uh, well, actually, was there anvils in here? Does he Is he giving away... Uh, the ability for us to anvil. I'm not actually sure if I saw an anvil. No, no anvil. Okay. Yeah, let's go back to our base. We'll make an anvil. We will get our tools going and then <laughs> we need to do a whole bunch of mining trying to get some more diamonds. All right. So I went ahead and I got ourselves our silky touch pick made. So we got the silk touch, the mending of the efficiency five on it. So this is pretty good. We're just missing unbreaking, right? And then we have our fortune mending book, which I combined together, and then it requires nine levels for me to put it on this pick. So can't really do anything with that. So I'm taking an anvil with me and this iron pickaxe. Hopefully we can find some redstone or something that I can mine, get the, uh, the required levels. Maybe we'll find a monster or something. I don't know. Uh, hopefully we'll get those required levels that we need and then we can get this going. But 
Uh, yeah, we need to go right back into the mines that I have been using for all of our mining adventures so far. I'm gonna go all the way down. What is it like minus 56? Why? I can't remember where we uh, put this down here. It's something like that. Wait, is there a hole? In the Somebody broke into my geode. How rude. Hm. Anyway, uh, yeah, so we go all the way down here to this level and yeah, just gonna do a bunch of mining. Well, actually, not this level. All the way down at the end of this road, we have a uh, staircase that goes down further. So I'm gonna go down there and then we'll do some mining. All right, so that mining adventure didn't last super long. It didn't have a lot of torches to continue branch mining, but I did end up finding four diamond ores, so that's really awesome. We found a bunch of redstone and a little bit of lapis, so we're gonna need uh, to break these apart to see if we can actually get ourselves the nine levels that we need <laughs> for putting the fortune on our diamond pickaxe. Mm -hmm. Uh, so while I was down in the mines, oh, you know what? We're probably gonna break this iron pick before we get through this. Uh, while I was down in the mines, yeah, I broke my iron shovel that I was using, and we kept hitting pockets of gravel, so that got a little annoying here. A little annoying while I was down there. Um, but yeah, are we gonna end up having enough XP out of this redstone to get ourselves? Oh, I think we probably will. Yeah, we're almost... Yeah, we're almost there for uh, nine levels so we can get that fortune. Maybe we can finish off the rest of these with some fortune here. There it is. Perfect. Okay, so anvil and then this diamond pickaxe plus the fortune mending. We'll call this fortune. Oh, if I try and name it, it costs one more level. Am I going to have enough? Okay. Okay. We'll see what happens. Can I get... Oh, I guess we're gonna have to mine the rest with this pickaxe. And not quite enough. Maybe if I mine, we have these three lapis. Maybe if I mine these. Come on. Come on. And, oh, so close. Okay, well, I guess we're not gonna name this pickaxe. That makes me pretty sad. <laughs> uh, so we'll do this, that nine levels. Now we can get the fortune. So if I place down these four, do we get more than four diamonds? Oh, there's at least two. Oh, yeah. Okay, well, fortune paid off a little bit. We end up getting nine diamonds, one diamond block out of four ore. That's not bad. Okay, so with these, I could go back over to Impulse's shop and get some unbreaking. Um, I think that's probably going to make sense here. I need an unbreaking for this. I need an unbreaking for this. And then I need an efficiency for that. And then we have three diamonds left over. I guess I should make myself a diamond axe with that. So once again, XP is becoming an issue here. If I wanted to put this unbreaking on our silk touch pickaxe, for instance, that's going to cost me 10 more levels. So <laughs> we could keep going and mining for ores and then using our fortune to break it apart and collect levels that way, etc., etc. I think what we're going to do, though, is we're going to go to the nether for the first time and see if we can find where the end is. Mm-hmm. Apparently, Jevin and Wells have gone to the end and they have made an Enderman farm there. I don't know anything about what the end looks like. I don't know what the nether looks like. I don't even know where another portal is. I thought I saw one that was like right over there behind this house like a long time ago. I guess we'll head over that way and see uh, if that portal leads somewhere. Whoop, wrong button. Yeah, so I need to get my own nether portal. It looks like somebody's got like a map thing going on over there. That's kind of crazy looking. Uh, yeah, there's a portal over here. I don't know whose portal this is. And I thought somebody had claimed this land because there was these crops and the uh, portal over here. Looks like somebody's got a cartographer table. Not sure. Anyway, let's go into the nether. Oh, somebody's got... Okay, I guess this is somebody's thing. Yeah, I haven't explored this at all. Somebody's got a map here. Cool. Yeah, let's see what the nether looks like on the Season 9 server. I haven't seen this yet. We need to go deeper. Okay. So, it doesn't really look like much has been done. There is a staircase that goes up here, and it looks like a lot of people's portals are up at that level. I'm hoping 
I, I, by the way, I'm leaving my diamond tools <laughs> back home just in case because I don't know how well the uh, nether has been set up here. Uh, yeah, so I'm hoping that there is a... Oh boy, I'm not wearing gold. Am I? Oh, I'm wearing gold pants. We're, we're friends, right? Please don't, please don't knock me off. Can I, can I get past? Anyway, I didn't want to uh, die in the nether and lose my diamond tools since those are all the diamonds that we have. Um, is there like an actual hub somewhere? I am not sure. I know there hasn't been an official hub. Oh yeah, look at this. Okay, so we got signs over here. Ah, this is what we're looking for. The Zuma. The end XB and pillager outpost. So if this goes to the end, oh wow, that's like really close, isn't it? All right. Well, let's see where this goes. I made the advancement, I spy. Look at this, we're getting all the advancements. People left some stuff here. And we go here, the end. And as you would expect, as soon as you come into the end, right behind you. Yeah, so this looks cool. We got a fast drop here. I assume this won't kill me. Uh-huh. Double carpet pathway all the way over to what appears to be a standard Enderman farm. So I guess I'll just collect, I don't know, uh, maybe 30, maybe 40 levels of XP. I'm not sure how much we're going to need. We're just going to drop it all into our enchantment books. Um, but yeah, so I'll spend a little bit of time here doing this. I don't know how fancy this Enderman farm is. Actually, maybe we should just take a look at this together real quick, just so we, we know. Okay, well, first things first, <laughs> let's turn hostile creatures down to like there. It says 0%, but it's like less than 1%. Anything in these chests? There's a little bit of lag going on when I open these for some reason. Nothing in those. We got a little enchantment area over here. Very nice, very nice. Functional, but still under construction. Got an off on button. All right. Oh, I don't have sweeping edge. Right. I have to make like a sword and all of this stuff. Well, I guess this will be a lot easier now that we have access to basically unlimited XP. Well, I'm going to be at this for a little while. <laughs> See you guys in a bit. All right, guys, so we got done enchanting our tools and then I went mining and now we have a lot of diamonds and a lot of other resources here. I think redstone and lapis are really the only other things that we collected, no more gold or iron. But yeah, we have eight blocks of diamond plus one, so that is really, really good. Uh, I did not end up making any other diamond tools except for our fortune and our silk touch pickaxe and I finally got them renamed and all that stuff. So that was really good, but yeah, so I'm noticing here that we are keeping uh, these chests full, right? And then I had to overflow into a new chest over here. What I'd like to do is set up a storage area inside of our house here so we can have a proper place to put all that stuff. Right, so I think, like I said, this is going to be our enchantment area over here. And this, I think, is what we're going to use for our regular storage area. Um... So I was kind of coming up with some designs that I like, and I think what we're going to end up doing here is like right here. I think we'll go three wide and there. Yeah, so we'll have like a little area here, and then we'll have like a space behind so we can put some torches or hidden lighting or I don't know, whatever else. Probably not hidden lighting since I'm planning on actually hanging some lanterns from the ceiling here. So yeah, we'll figure out what goes behind there, if anything. Anyway. Uh, so what I want to do is just kind of have this, and then we are going to do a whole bunch of chests here. <laughs> like, a whole lot. That's not enough. Uh, that's not enough either, but that's enough to do, like, one side, I think. So we're going to do some just double chests, like so. Uh, that's not how I want to do that. This. This. I think that's enough, and we're going to actually go too high on these. So let me just do the second layer real quick. Like I saw, and we're gonna do that on both sides. Now we could turn these to the side and probably cram some more in here, but honestly, I think this is gonna be just fine for what we're gonna be doing. So uh, I also want to get these corners filled in like this, and then back here against this. Uh, well, I was gonna say against the wall, but <laughs> I guess the end of our storage area. 
we're gonna have some barrels mm -hmm. so we'll have to make those up as well uh so i don't think we're gonna have enough chests but yeah we can do i guess this row here and kind of get an idea what this is gonna look like mm -hmm. and then we can cap this off at the end over here just kind of put up some walls i need to bust out this slab here so we'll have a solid block for that part of the roof and then we'll do the same thing on this side as well like so and then i need to get rid of this guy like so sweet all right so yeah we got a storage area gonna be taking shape here i think this is gonna look pretty good so i will finish up the rest of this but uh, i took some of your guys comments on our smelting area from last episode and i made some changes just just slight changes we got rid of the door of the double door i did end up putting a carpet in here uh i'm using some spruce trap doors here as kind of like a decorative feature on along this pillar or poster uh <laughs> whatever you want to call it we got uh, some stairs here and some more trap doors up top i think it kind of gives it a little bit of an arch kind of more of an open feeling we don't have to open as many doors to get around i think that makes sense uh this door i think we're still going to leave that here since that kind of like separates uh this area from the main portion of the house and of course the bedroom also needs a door i did add in a wraparound seating area here i think that makes it uh feel a lot more cozy that way this light serves a purpose as well again we can sit by a window read a book or whatever we want to do i think that looks pretty good and then keeping with the same theme of the oak stairs i replaced these stairs over here i think i originally had these as spruce and these back here these are now oak wood as well so everywhere that we have seats they should be oak mm -hmm. <laughs> i just thought that it was kind of weird that we were changing up the wood type so i wanted to make everything consistent and yeah the uh the oak kind of offsets the color of the uh the massive amount of spruce that we have in here yep anyway so i'm gonna go ahead and continue up uh continue on upstairs with our storage area and we'll continue on another axe broke ah <sighs> we gotta make that diamond axe guys all right so this is what the storage area is looking like now we got some lights up here we got some barrels back here in fact i had uh six barrels here and then i was like wait i need to craft things up here so i was like okay let's replace this bottom middle one with a crafting table i put it in the floor but that's actually the ceiling down below so that won't really work uh i guess i could have put it right here but then i'd have to fight to try and click on it behind the lantern anyway i thought right here is going to make the most sense so um let's make ourselves a crafting or i'm sorry not a crafting <laughs> an enchantment table i went and i mined up some obsidian just a minute ago and see if i can remember where things are mob drops are right here i have one whole piece of leather oh you know what i don't think i have the sugar cane i only have one sugar cane that is not enough if we are gonna make some paper to make a book we are definitely definitely gonna need more than that is there some easy access sugar cane around here that I can borrow from somebody? I swear I'll put it back when I'm done with it. <laughs> yeah, so let's come over here. It looks like there's just a bunch of it growing along the coast. So I will just borrow three pieces. Like so. Uh-huh. And this one. There we go. Awesome. Oh, I guess I got four. Did I already have one on me? Maybe I already had one on me or maybe I hit... I don't know. Now we have five. Huh. Okay, well, anyway, we got sugar cane now. So the sugar cane, we can turn into paper. Three paper plus a leather will make a book. The book plus four obsidian and the two diamonds should make our enchantment table, if my calculations are correct. It's actually been a minute since I have last made one. I'm pretty sure that's the recipe, though. Uh, so if we come back in here, come back in here, <laughs> we can go upstairs. And crafting table. Let's go. So there's this, 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 that, some of this, one of those, one of those, like so. Enchanting table. Boom. All right. So I don't have the bookshelves, obviously. I barely had enough paper to make uh, <laughs> what we just made there. I think we will probably do. Well, I'm going to use dirt as like a placeholder. I think we're going to do this right something like this right you know the standard thing and then one of these here now the uh, enchantment tables i do believe actually put out light at this point in the game like they didn't used to but i think they do now 
Um, but it is a little dark over there. I don't know if it's dark enough for mobs to spawn, but it's dark enough that I don't like it. So we're going to come over here. We'll throw some lanterns like that. That'll brighten up the place just a little bit. This actually, I put in the right spot or maybe I'm not actually sure. Uh, maybe I want this up against the wall. Maybe I should push that back a little bit. Uh, eventually what I want to have is one of the disenchantment things here. The, uh, the grindstones. And that's going to make XP and XP balls probably can fall behind there and then get stuck and they won't be able to get those. I think we probably should move this back. Yeah. Well, I guess I don't have to move those actually. We should just be able to do this, 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 that. Something like that, right? And then move this back one. Yeah, I think that's going to make... A better setup here so we don't lose XP orbs or get them stuck back behind what will be the bookshelves eventually. So yeah, we got that going on. Then this guy can be moved. Maybe right there. I think that'll be fine. Yeah, so we'll have the grindstone. We'll have our anvil. I think that'll be good for an enchantment setup. I really wish we had everything ready to go. The bookshelves so we could enchant on that. But, you know, it is what it is. At least we have that set up. If we need, like, a basic, uh, I don't know, unbreaking or something... We can do that now. Yeah, so that'll be good. Um, does the enchantment table retain lapis? I can't remember. I've played modded before where it did, and I can't remember if vanilla now holds that or not. No, it doesn't. Okay, so that goes back into your inventory. So I should probably set up like a chest or some kind of a storage over there uh, to hold some lapis. Maybe put a barrel in the floor or uh, maybe a barrel right there. I mean, I don't know. Something, some place that we can uh, hold the lapis over <laughs> so we can... Uh, continue enchanting while we're there so we don't have to keep running back over here for it. Okay, well, yeah, the storage setup looks pretty good. The uh, enchantment area obviously isn't complete, and we didn't really get to what I wanted to do today, which was start tearing this back, but we have the tools now to be able to do that, and then I have the extra diamonds where I can make more tools. Yeah, so I think this will be a thing that we'll probably work on next episode. Try and uh, give ourselves an actual backyard, try and give ourselves a bit of a front yard, and make this look as good as possible, as good as we can make it look. So, yeah, that's definitely something that we'll be looking at for next time. But anyway, guys, that is it for this episode on Hermitcraft. Hit the thumbs up button if you liked it. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.